you've seen the good version in Wrecked Ralph, you skip the Will Ferrell version in Megamind. Now, get ready for the most okay version of the animated villain becomes a hero story in Despicable Me 1 and 2. Meet Gru, a terrorist who's just likable enough to keep the audience on his side. He's got severe depression, a plan that will kill everyone on Earth. Stealing the moon? And a really funny voice so you don't dwell too hard on those things. You will not cry or laugh or giggle. <laughs> Enter a world where villains and spies lurk just below the surface, or rather right on top of the surface where everyone can see. Where the evil plots are straight out of Carmen San Diego. The Great Pyramid of Giza had been stolen and replaced by a giant inflatable replica. But the bad guys draw the line at robbery? I, I really don't see how we can afford this. I'll just get another loan from the bank. And the police straight up don't exist, which is too bad because Gru kills a lot of people. In Despicable Me, ride along as Gru adopts three little girls with three old grandma names. Margot, Edith, and Agnes. In this short but sweet kids movie with heart and humor. <laughs> then watch Despicable Me 2, a 90 minute rehash of the first one with more of what kids really want. Minion fart jokes. <laughs> 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 Get it? The minion did the fart noise. See, Pixar? This is exactly what was missing from Up. <laughs> Witness the tragedy of a man slowly losing his franchise to his underlings as the minions go from cute little interludes between scenes to having their own B story to getting a spin off movie that's bigger than the Despicable Me's ever were to becoming the unofficial mascot of your crazy aunt's Facebook page. What do the minions have to do with vaccines? What is wrong with you, Aunt Pam? So kick back and enjoy the franchise you love to hate. Not because the movies are bad, but because you can't get away from the ad campaigns, the crappy spin-offs, or that Pharrell song you liked at first until it burrowed into your brain like a molly-soaked tapeworm. Because it's a clap along if you can't get this song out of your head. Damn it, it's back in my head again. Starring Orthodox Gru, What's Your Vector, Victor? Professor Farnsworth, DJ Stephanie and Michelle, El Mexican Stereotypo, Black Wigo, The Orphanage Where Bruce Wayne Gets All of His Robins, Probably, and Tiny Homer Simpson Heads, Despicable Me Onions. Hey, you stole that nacho hat from The Simpsons. You don't own everything yellow and bald, you know. Hey, Screen Junkies, if you want even more Despicable Me, watch us show Steve Carell, Kristen Wiig, and the cast of the movie some real Despicable Memes on this week's Screen Junkie show. Click below to check it out. When the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. The Emoji Movie will be the greatest movie ever made, sarcasm. Carmen Sandiego and Waldo made a movie together. Now you just have to find it. I am a proud metrosexual attack helicopter.